Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and in the aftermath of last week's disappointing Q421 earnings report from Meta Platforms, regulatory concerns faded to the background as the Apple iOS privacy change and rising competition from TikTok consumed everyone's attention. Today, however, those regulatory concerns are back in focus after Bloomberg reported that the company may pull Facebook and Instagram from Europe if it's unable to keep transferring user data back to the US. Okay, before we get too far into Meta Platform's problems, smash that like button, share this video, and click the first link in the description to get our top 10 stocks list and so much more. We've done the research so you don't have to. And if it's your first time watching, then consider clicking subscribe so you never miss a video. All right, thank you my friends for doing that. Now, for some context, and this is going to get a little confusing and technical, but back in August of 2020, the Irish Data Protection Commission, or IDPC, issued a preliminary finding stating that Meta Platform's reliance on standard contractual clauses, SCCs, to transfer data from Europe to the US does not achieve compliance with the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. Therefore, the commission determined that Meta Platform's transfers of data should be suspended. Since then, US and European Union regulators have attempted to restructure a new transatlantic data transfer pact, but a deal has yet to be worked out. Without an agreement in place, a final decision on the Irish Data Protection Commission's ruling could hit at any time, with Meta Platform expecting a ruling as early as the first half of 2022. A negative final decision poses a significant threat for these reasons. Like in the US, the data that Meta Platforms gets from its European subscribers is used for targeted advertising the bread and butter of its business. At nearly 25% of fiscal 21 revenue, Europe represents a major market for meta platforms and any significant disruption would materially impact revenue. Next, for a point of comparison, Europe accounted for 16% of SNAP's revenue in fiscal year 21, according to the Business Help Center page on SNAP's website. The company is fully compliant with GDPR and UK data protection laws. Next, with pressures mounting against Meta Platform's family of app segment, which is something new, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp are all included, the company may be compelled to pour even more capital into its metaverse aspirations. While these investments could pay dividends several years down the road, Meta Platform's earnings would take an even bigger short-term hit if it accelerates its metaverse timeline. In my view, Meta Platform's threat to completely remove Facebook and Instagram is a tactic to put political pressure on regulators to not disrupt the millions of people and businesses that use its platforms in Europe. It reminds me of the strategy that ride-sharing companies Uber and Lyft implemented in California, threatening to leave the state if Proposition 22 did not pass. Ultimately, it would be completely shocking if Meta Platforms followed through on this threat, given how important the European market is to the company. A more likely scenario is that Meta Platforms settles for a more restrictive data transfer agreement and or moves ahead with a new monetization strategy that doesn't rely so heavily on targeted ads. Well, that's what I think about Meta Platforms right now, but I want to hear from you. What do you think about their strategy to threaten to pull Facebook and Instagram from Europe if they don't get their way? And remember, your comments make these videos so much better. Smash the like button, share this video, and click the first link in the description to get our top 10 stocks list and so much more. We've done the research so you don't have to. And if it's your first time here, then consider clicking subscribe so you never miss a video. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.